السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین الذي خلق الافلاك والارضين ما شاء الله ما شاء الله والصلاه والسلام على سيد الانبياء والمرسلين امين وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين امين ما شاء الله ما شاء الله وعلينا معهم وبهم ولهم وفيهم الى يوم الدين ما شاء الله ما شاء الله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما شاء الله يا ايها الذين امنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاه ما شاء الله ان الله مع الصابرين سبحان الله صدق الله العلي العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الامين الكريم ما شاء الله ما شاء الله عزيزان الكرامي رفيقان الملت ما شاء الله اپنی بیداری کا اظہار کرتے ہوئے ایک مرتبہ سرکار صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی بارگاہ میں درود شریف پڑھ لے اللہ صلی علی سیدنا و نبینا مولانا محمد معدن الجود والکرم و ممبع العلم والحلم والحکم و علی علیہ و صحبہ و بارک و سلم انگلیش میں بولا افیو ورڈز that you heard from Hazrat Sayyid Maulana Abdul Samad Sahib Qibla. You should take them in one ear and out the other. I am an ignorant person and I try to follow my Shaykh as everyone should mashallah, mashallah. in the hope that in the afterlife in my grave my sheikh comes to help me mashallah, mashallah. and inshallah in the akhirah as well may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all the companionship of our shuyukh in our graves and in the afterlife Ameen. inshallah I will speak for a short while on a bit of nasiha so that we can improve ourselves mashallah. in character and in being better Muslims inshallah so before I do that may we all once more recite Durood Sharif Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyyina wa Mawlana Muhammadin ma'adin al-Judi wal-Karam wa manba'i al-ilmi wal-hilmi wal-hikam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa barik wa sallim Sayyiduna Musa alayhi salam once asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Ya Rab O my Rab Man a'azzu ibadik indak Who is the most beloved and the dearest of your servants in your court? What a great question. Uh, ya Allah, who do you love the most? Allah. Who is the most beloved and Allah. dearest to you, O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Man qadara ghafara. What does that mean? Man qadara ghafara. It means that he who has the power 
the strength, the ability, the capability to retaliate, to take revenge, yet he forgives. Which means that when someone abuses you, whether verbally or physically, and you have the strength to retaliate and answer and reply to this person, yet you still practice patience and you forgive that individual then you are the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself as his attribute says he is the most patient one. And he advises the believers that practice patience. When you are inflicted by difficulty, trouble, then you should stay in control and you should practice patience. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam in a hadith he said ma ahadun asbara ala adha yasma'uhu min Allah ta'ala there is no one who is more patient more tolerant upon abuse that he hears yani verbal abuse then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we all sometimes experience verbal abuse it may be when you are driving and you have accidentally cut someone off they swear at you or because you have done something that someone did not like and they verbally abused you. Or it may be ghibah behind your back. Somebody talks bad about you, talks evil about you because they don't like you or they are threatened by you. But they speak bad about you behind your back. This is verbal abuse. All different types of people, they all experience verbal abuse. Women a lot as well, or maybe more than men. But what we know by experience is that the more important the individual, the more verbal abuse he gets. Jitni zyada izzat ho, that is how much verbal abuse the person gets. Aap nahi dekhte ke the prime minister or the president of a country, he is abused all the time, whether in the media or in the local barber shop, or in a restaurant, wherever you go, they are abused because they are important people in their countries. Ulama kiram, people speak ill about the ulama, people backbite about the ulama, people spread false rumors about the ulama, sometimes true, but they talk bad about the ulama, verbal abuse, sometimes even in front of them. Do we not see that Al-Ayadu Billah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, the one who is free from all faults, Munazzah min kulli aib, yet Rasulullah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam is verbally abused. Jab aap ba hayat te, tab bhi, aap ke hayat e zahiri ke baad bhi, even today, and it will continue until the Day of Judgment. But the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam said, Ma asbara ala adha yasma'uhu min Allah. There is no one that is more tolerant and more patient upon hearing verbal abuse than Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Think to yourselves, ponder over this. How many people abuse Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the Almighty, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no hawl, no strategy, no hila, no haraka, no strength, no ability, wa la quwwah, no power, illa billahi al-aliyyil azim. 
but with Allah the Most High, the Greatest. If Allah wants, kun, and people will be destroyed. Yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is abused verbally by people, not just non-Muslims. Unfortunately, we are living in a time where Muslims are abusing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many people complain to Allah? Ki Allah was there, oh Allah, was there nobody else that you have inflicted me with this pain? al ayadu billah. People complaining. When do people remember Allah? Nowadays on social media, people will put a picture of filth, impurity, najasat ki tasweer laga ke, oh my God, Allah ka naam. Yani it is not one of the asma of Allah, but in the English language, that is what they use to refer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, najasat dekh ke Allah ka naam lena. People abuse Allah verbally day in, day out. Social media, in the real world, in the virtual world, at all times. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, La tasubbu dahr. Don't swear at the era, the time and nature, the weather. Yet people swear at the weather. They swear at the clouds, they swear at the rain, they swear at the cold, they swear at the heat. Yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, La tasubbu dahar, don't swear at all of this. Why anat dahar? I am the one that is giving you this weather and this climate. Don't swear because if you are swearing at the weather, you are swearing at me. You swear at nature, you are swearing at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbade and prohibited speaking ill about food. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu kulu mimma fil ardi halalan tayyiba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O oh, those who believe, kulu, eat from that which is halal and tayyib in the earth. Jo halal hai, paak hai, usko khao. Aaj aap dekhe aisa daur chala hai, veganism. Musalman, Muslims, believe that it is cruelty to animals to eat meat. This is haram in Islam. Ye aqeedah batila hai. And this is why this verse was revealed. Baaz, sahaba kiram jo pehle yahudi the uske baad unhone islam qubool kiya riwayaton mein sayyiduna abdullah ibn salam ka bhi naam aata hai to aap hazrat ne apne aap pe oont ka gosht haram kar diya tha ke hum oont ka gosht nahi khayenge kyun ke shariat e musawi mein wo jaiz nahi tha isliye hum nahi khayenge ye unhone tay kar liya تو اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی نے یہ آیت پاک نازل فرمائی کہ اللہ نے جس کو حلال اور طیب بنایا اس کو کھاؤ تو اف سم بڈی پریکٹسز اے ڈائٹ دیر از نو ہوم آپ گوشت نہ کھائے لیکن اس کو برا کہنا اس کے کھانے والے کو برا کہنا یہ ناجائز ہے سمجھ میں آئی نا بات دیر از نو ہوم ان ابسٹیننگ فرام میٹ کہ ہم نہیں کھائیں گے ڈیو ٹو ہیلتھ ریزنز or due to diet reasons. That's fine, there's no harm. But to abuse those who do, that this is against the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is verbally abusing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Khane ko bura bhala kehna. Your mother has cooked food for you. Your father has cooked food for you. They have presented food for you. And you express, I don't like this. Uh, yuck. I don't like this. This is food that Allah has provided you with. And to abuse that is abusing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there is no one more patient upon hearing abuse than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam then said, يَدَّعُونَ لَهُ الْوَلَدِ Up to the extent that people say ke Allah ka beta hai. Al-ayadu billah. That Allah has a son. This is the extent of the abuse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets. He is transcendent and he is free from having any children 
being born, Allahu Samad lam yalid wa lam yulad. Yet people now say that Allah has a son. They say that we are the children of Allah. He is our father. All this abuse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets. Yet aapne dekha, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, thumma yu'afihim. Even though the people abuse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still grants them afia. Kya mana afia? Afia yani daful bala wal afat to prevent infliction and difficulty from people. That is afia. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being abused by an individual. Yet Allah is still protecting him from infliction and from difficulty. Ab dekhe kitne ghair muslim hai is dunya mein. How many those who reject the message of Allah. Allah ne dunya mein apni, apne wujood ki nishaniya banai hai. Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ard. Wakhti la fi layli wal nahar. La ayatil li ulil albab. There are signs everywhere for the existence of Allah, yet people still reject Allah. Log phir bhi Allah ka inkar karte hai. To jino ne Allah ko thukaraya, Allah ka inkar kiya, kitne hai dunya mein? Bahut hai, majority of the world. Aap dekhe, is daur mein coronavirus jo chala hai, infliction, bimari, has Allah protected non-Muslims from it or not? There are so many non-Muslims that are protected from that illness and that infliction. Why? Thumma yu'afihim. Although they reject Allah, although they abuse Allah, yet Allah still protects them and prevents them from being inflicted and falling into difficulty. If someone someone swears at you, someone abuses you, will you protect him? Will you ensure his safety? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still protects those individuals. Then Rasul Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَيَرْزُقُهُمْ And Allah still grants them risk. Then bhi Allah unko risk deta hai. Kitne ameer hai, dekhe aap. In the world, there are about 100 families that control the whole world. Non-Muslim. Kaun risk deta hai? Allah deta hai. Yet people reject Allah, they abuse Allah, yet Allah protects them and Allah provides them. Allah unko risk bhi deta hai. Kitna sabr hai. This is sabr and this is tolerance. Aur hum apna hal dekhe. Koi hume gali bola. Ya hume kisi ne kaha ke fala shakhs ne aap ke baare mein ye kaha. Baat muhakkak bhi nahi. You don't even know whether it's true or not. Lekin ab wo shakhs dushman ho gaya hamara. Ab hum us, uski bhalai nahi karenge. I will ensure and I will show him. Main dikhaunga usko ek din. Saamne aayega to. Hai na yehi hal hai. Yet look at the sabr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aaj dekhe you are driving and somebody cuts you off. So what is your state? Ham log gali dete hai, gussa karte hai. Someone pushes you, I push him back. Sabr and tolerance, we lack that. Whereas this is one of the attributes of a Muslim, of a believer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ki ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu sta'inu bis sabr. O those who believe, seek help from patience. Sabr karo, practice patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide you support. Ek martaba once, Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala was being verbally abused. Suni hogi aapne rivayat. There was an individual who is verbally abusing Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam was present. And Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala was silent. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was smiling. Aap muskura rahe the. 
بعد میں سید اللہ ابو بکر صدیق رضی اللہ عنہ نے جواب دینا شروع کیا تو آپ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے مسکرانا بند کیا اور آپ وہاں سے چلے گئے سنا ہے نا آپ نے تو رسول اللہ صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم ہی آس دیٹ یا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم یو ار دے یو ہیڈ واٹ ہی واز سینگ آئی واز سائلنٹ یو آر اسمائلنگ بٹ وین آئی بیگن ٹو ریپلائی وائی ڈیڈ یو لیو اینڈ اسٹاپ اسمائلنگ ٹو دا میسنج آف اللہ صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم سیٹ بیکاز وین یو آر کوائٹ اینڈ یو آر پیشنٹ اینڈ ٹالریٹنگ اللہ سین سید اللہ جبریل امین اینڈ ہی واز آنسرنگ آن یور بیہاف But when you began to answer, then Jibreel Amin left. So we will sabre kare, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ensure our affairs are sorted. He will arrange and ensure that our affairs are in order. When Sayyida Aisha Siddiqa radiyallahu ta'ala anha, Ummul Mu'mineen, When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended to raise her status, جب اللہ نے چاہا کہ آپ کا مرتبہ اتنا بلند ہو جائے کہ آپ پہ تہمت لگانے والا کافر ہو جائے تو اس وقت at that time, many people in Medina Munawwara, they had ma'ad Allah accused Sayyida Aisha Siddiqa رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ, our mother, ہماری ماں. تو سیدنا ابو بکر صدیق رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ it is his daughter تو جب when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down the verse confirming the purity of سیدہ عائشہ رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ and that the accusation was a بہتان it was false تو سیدنا ابو بکر صدیق رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ said that فلا بن فلا فلا بن فلا فلا بن فلا I will stop sending any provision to that household anymore. Kya matlab? What it means is that amongst the Sahaba Kiram, it was a practice that those who had a good income and a healthy income, they used to provide for certain families, for the whole household. Because they never used to work or they no, had no earning, they needed support. I am earning, I have a healthy business. I earn, I take out a share and I support and run this household. From my money, this household is run. And there were many houses that Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala used to run. And other Sahaba Ikiram used to run different, different households. Even today, many uh, Umarah, they practice this. And it is great, of great reward. So Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala named them households and said, I will not send them any more provision. Why? Because they accused my daughter falsely. So Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, when he heard, he forbade Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala from that. And he said, you must continue to send that provision. Although he received the abuse, he still provided them with risk. And he continued, he continued to provide that risk. Even though they accused his own daughter of Ma'adullah, adultery so this is what patience and tolerance is why do people not practice patience why do people become angry why do people become angry why do people become angry when the person feels that when when the person feels that I am bigger and greater than this individual he is giving me a gift what is the reason for this that he is giving me a gift یہ کبر ہے کبر اینڈ اٹ از کبر دیٹ پریونٹس این انڈیویجل فرام پریکٹسنگ پیشنٹس صبر سے یہ تکبر روکتا ہے آدمی کو اینڈ دا لیک آف پیشنٹس اینڈ دی ابسنس آف پیشنٹس اینڈ ٹالرنس از ون آف دا ڈیزیز آف دا ہارٹ یہ دل کی بیماریوں میں سے ہے دی عدم دا ابسنس آف پیشنٹس تو رسول اکرم صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ وسلم ہی سیڈ کہ لا يدخل الجنة من كان في قلبه ذرة من كبر کہ whosoever has a particle of dust amount of kibr in his heart he will not enter jannah 
What do we mean by particle of dust? Dharra. What does that mean? You know when the, shun, when the sun shines through the window and you can see the ray of light and you can see little particles swimming or floating in that. Those are particles of dust. Even that much of kibr, arrogance, takabbur in the heart, that person will not enter Jannah. Why? Because only Allah has the right of kibr. Sirf Allah ka haq hai. Mutakabbir. It is only the right of Allah. We have no right. Who are we? We are insignificant. So if anyone has kibr in their heart, they will not enter Jannah. And that is the kibr that prevents a man from being patient. Jo admi aapko masjid se nikalne ka haq rakhta hai agar wo aapko tok de aapko daat de to aap chup rahenge because he is bigger than me lekin if somebody smaller than him he shouts at you aapne koi galti ki he is right for shouting at you but because he is not that powerful and you think you are bigger than him who is he to shout at me ye kibre hai and that is what prevents an individual from practicing patience sabr se rokta hai to in this hadith it says qala rajulun when the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that anyone who has a particle dust amount of kibr arrogance in his heart he will not enter jannah to a man said ek shakhs jo wahan maujood the unhone arz kiya ki ya rasul allah sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam inna rajula yuhibbu ay yakuna thawbuhu wa na'luhu hasanan ya ay yakuna thawbuhu hasanan wa na'luhu hasanan ki ya rasul allah sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam indeed man man loves that his clothing be beautiful and of good quality and his shoes be of good quality and they be beautiful yani he is asking ke ya rasul allah sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam aapne farmaya ke kibr jiske dil mein hai wo jahannam mein jayega jannat mein nahi jayega he won't go to jannah then we as men we naturally want our clothing to be beautiful and we want our shoes to be beautiful yani this is arrogance so then what do we do yani wo pooch rahe the ki ye bhi kibr hai ki hum acha libas pehne acche joote pehne ye bhi kibr hai to rasool e akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne farmaya ke inna allah jameelun wa yuhibbul jamal ke indeed allah is beautiful allah jameel hai और वो जमाल को पसंद फरमाता है एंड ही लवस ब्यूटी यानी देर इज नो होम इन वेयरिंग ब्यूटीफुल क्लोथ एंड ब्यूटीफुल शूज इसमें कोई हरिज नहीं बल्कि यह अच्छा है दिस इज गुड ये किब्र नहीं है तो किब्र क्या है तो रसूल अक्रम सलम ने फरमाया अल किबर बतर उल हक व गम तुन्नास किब्र तकबर arrogance is the rejection of the truth ye haq ko jhutlana hai apni galti ko qubool na karna hai janne ke bawajood ke main haq pe nahi hu fala haq pe hai phir bhi apni baat pe ade rehna ye kibr hai haq ko jhutlana to not accept the truth and to reject the truth taweel karna tahreef karna to interpret and try and justify your mistake and error to not acknowledge your mistake ye sab kibr hai aur phir farmaya wa gham tu nas and to be little people logo ko chhota samajhna when you think when you assume that this person is smaller than me that is kibr and that is what prevents you from practicing patience because if there is someone who is a black belt in martial arts and he is an expert in fighting and he verbally abuses you to aadmi chup chap sochega ki koi baat nahi afiyat isi mein chala jaye let's leave him why because he knows but if the same situation was with someone who he thinks and assumes that i can 
बीट हिम दर इज किबर कि वो मुझसे बड़ा नहीं मुझसे छोटा है तो अब आई विल रिटालिएट आई विल नाउ टेक रिवेंज ये किबर है और यही सब्र को रोकता है सईदुना उमर फारूक रदी अल्लाह त एक मरतबा मंबर पे अपने दौरे खिलाफत में ऑन द मंबर ही सर तवाऊ तवाऊ ब्रिंग योर सेल्व डाउन प्रैक्टिस ह्यूमिलिटी प्रैक्टिस हम्बलनेस अपने आप को छोटा समझो फी समय तो रसूल अल्लाह सल्लाह तसलम यकूल बिकॉज आई हैव हर्ड The Messenger of Allah sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam saying, "Man tawada alillah rafaahu Allah, fahuwa fi nafsihi sagir, wa fi aayunin nasi azim." Yani he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that practice humility, lower yourself, think that you are small. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will raise you. Allah तुझे बड़ा बना देगा. And then He said that that individual who practices humility and shows himself to be small in front of other people, then he in his own eyes वो अपने नफ्स में अपने आप को छोटा समझता है. He नफ्स ही सगीर. He thinks himself as small. Wafi aayun in nas, but in the eyes of the people, he is the great one. He is azim. Wo azmat wala hai logo ki aakho me. Kya matlab? Matlab ye hai ki if you lower yourself in front of people, ki main kuch nahi hu. Aap mujse bade hai. Main adna sa ek khadim hu. I am insignificant. I have no status. I am a normal person. I am a layman. in front of people and he believes himself to be lower than the second person then allah raises him in a manner allah usko aise buland karta hai ke logo ke dilon mein uski azmat paida kar deta hai allah creates the greatness of that individual in the hearts of the people and that's when people regard him as a great person isliye farmao ke sayyidul qaum khadimuhum कौम का सरदार उनका खादिम होता है द लीडर ऑफ द पीपल इज द सर्वेंट ऑफ द पीपल द वन हु सर्व द पीपल ही इज द लीडर फिर फरमाया देन रसूल सल्लाम सैद के वमन तकबर एंड ही प्रैक्टिस आरगंस एंड स्टबननेस फाह तो अल्लाह उसको नीचा करता है अल्लाह सुबहान लोअस दैट इंडिविजुअल कबीर तो ही देन बिलीव हिमसेल्फ टू बी बिग जो अपने आप को बड़ा समझता है तो वो अपने आप में बड़ा होता है वह फी आयुन नासी सगीर फिर फरमाया वह लुआ अहवनु अलहिम यानी अलनास मिन खिनजी व कल्ब के ही हिमसेल्फ इन हिज ओन सेल्फ इन हिज आईज ही थिंग्स टू हिम सेल्फ दैट आई एम अ ग्रेट पर्सन और ऐसे बहुत है अवाम में भी है ओलमा में भी है खवास में भी है सब में तकबर वाले के मैं कुछ हूं मैं बड़ा हूं तो अल्लाह सुबहान वाली लोअज हिम अल्लाह उसको नीचा करता है हत्या के वो अपने आप को बड़ा समझता है अल्लाह लोगों के दिलों में उसकी जिल्लत पैदा फरमाता है अल्लाह क्रिएट्स डिसग्रेस इन द हॉट्स ऑफ पीपल टू वोट हिम रसूल अक्रम सलम ने फरमाया उप टू दी एक्सटेंड हत्या के लहुआ अहवन और अहवन यानी इहानत से तफदील यानी ही इज मोर डिसग्रेसफुल इन द हॉट्स ऑफ पीपल देन खिनजीर अनकल्ब कुत्ते और सुवर से भी जलील उसको लोग समझते हैं तो अब आप सोचे कि अगर हम कहीं जा रहे हैं गाड़ी में हो या चलते हो या साइकिल पे हो या कहीं घर में बैठे हैं और कोई हमें गाली दे 
تو اس کا جواب دینا یہ کبر ہے اور جو کبر ہو تو لوگ اس کو ذلیل سمجھتے ہیں اور کتنا ذلیل اتنا ذلیل کہ شر منتا شر من تحت عدیم السما کہ آسمان کے نیچے جتنی بھی اللہ کی مخلوق ہے اس میں سب سے بدتر ہے یہ شخص تو یہی حال ہوتا ہے تکبر والوں کا دوز پیپل ہو بلیو دم سیلوز ٹو بی گریٹ اینڈ آئی ایم سم تھنگ ان ریالٹی دا پیپل ہیو نو ریسپیکٹ دے مے فی اے دیٹ پرسن دے مے فی اے دیٹ پرسن بیکاز آف دا ظلم دیٹ ہی ڈز بٹ ان دا ہارٹس آف دا پیپل دیر از نو ریسپیکٹ فار دیٹ انڈیویجول سو پریکٹس پیشنس stay in control learn to tolerate things and that is how you should represent islam okay when you show that character to someone then someone sees and thinks itna sabr where how can you be so patient how can you be so tolerant to when someone asks you you say because i believe in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you want that patience and tolerance then accept islam you will gain that ایک صحابیہ اور صحابی آئی کانٹ ریممبر دا نیمس شاید علماء کو یاد ہو کہ دے ہیڈ اے چائلڈ ان کے گھر ایک بچہ پیدا ہوا ابھی چند دن یا چند مہینوں کا بچہ تھا دیٹ ہیز بریدنگ بیکیم ہیوی ڈفیکلٹی ان بریدنگ لائک ون آف دی سمٹمس آف دا وائرس دا چائلڈ بریدنگ بیکیم ہیوی تو صحابی رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و رضی اللہ عنہ ان دا مارننگ وین ہی واز لیونگ ہی سو دیٹ ہیز چائلڈ بریدنگ واز ڈفیکلٹ اینڈ دین ہی لیفٹ کام پہ گئے ہی واز ورکنگ نماز کھیم بیک ہوم ان دی ایوننگ وین ہی کھیم ان دی ایوننگ ہی آسٹ ہیز وائف فرسٹ تھنگ کہ ہاؤ از آور سن شی سیڈ ان قطع نفسو His breathing has stopped. So he said, Alhamdulillah. So then he ate. Isha ki namaz padi, uske baad aram kiya. After resting, they awoke in the night for worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So before that, they practiced the practice of husband and wife. And after that, his wife said to him, and this is a sahabiyya, And only a mother knows how difficult it is to carry a child for nine months and the pain of delivering that child. Only she knows. Ye aadmiyo ke bas ki baat nahi hai. To she said to her husband that if somebody was to give something to us in trust, amanat, amana, Then later that individual comes and asks for it back. And we give it back. Should we be upset about it? He said, of course not. It belonged to them, so they took it back. There should be no sorrow. There should be no grievance. So then she said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us our son. Allah has taken our son back. He is shocked. He said, when did this happen? She said, when you came home, I told you that in qata'a nafsu, his breathing has stopped. And he said, I thought you meant that it has stopped as in the difficulty has stopped. And she said, no, I knew that you were coming home. So when his breathing stopped, I wrapped him up in a material and I've placed him there in the corner of the house. And I didn't want to disturb you Because I knew that if I told you clearly, then you would not have eaten. You would have not been able to rest after a hard day's work. So to ensure that you are in control when you come back and you have your food and you rest and you have rested, then I will tell you. And that's why I told you like this. And he became upset. But when he went for Fajr Salah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam after the Salah, called him and said to him that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you and your wife for what happened last night last night and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you another son and Allah granted them another son but the patience look at the tolerance and the patience 
That is what patience and tolerance should be. No matter what happens, look at the mother, how much she was in control. People have mental health issues nowadays because of these grievances and these difficulties and these inflictions. Coronavirus ki se, I have become inflicted mental health issues because I was inflicted. But a Muslim, a Muslim, a mu'min, he should not. He should not have mental health issues because of these inflictions. Why? Because he should know. He should know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already told us. You know when someone already tells you that this is going to happen, ye hone wala hai. So you prepare yourself. You know that it's going to happen. The doctor tells an individual that you have one month left. You have two months left. This is a ni'mah. This is a gift. Ye to ek gift hai. Ke aadmi ab tayyari kare ke mere do mahine baqi hai. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already told us. Ke ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu sta'inu bis sabri wa salah. Inna allaha ma'as sabirin. وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَنْ يُقْتَلُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتِ بَلْ أَحْيَاءُ وَلَا كِلَّا تَشْعُرُونَ وَلَا نَبْلُ وَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ کیا ہے؟ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ اللہ نے فرمایا ضرور بھی ضرور We will surely certainly emphasis after emphasis we will surely and certainly take you to trial and test. By what? With fear, khawf, and the absence of wealth, or the reduction of wealth. People will become bankrupt. Their wealth will be stolen. Their assets will be frozen. Kal amir tha, aaj gharib. Sab maal gaya, doob gaya. This will happen and mouth, death will come. Inflictions will occur. Children will be taken away. What samarat phal? Mufassirin ne farma is ka matra bache hai. The fruits, they are your children. Ye mari jayenge, Allah le jayega. How many times children pass away? How difficult must it be for the parents? One year old child, still born child, do teen saal ka, che saal ki bachi, che saal ka bachcha, das saal ka bachcha, intikal ho gaya. Allah ne hume pehle se bata diya ki zarur hoga. It will certainly happen. And when it happens, wa bashir sabirin. Jo sabr kare us waqt, jab ye ho, us waqt sabr kare to unko aap khush khabri suna de. Give them the glad tiding and good news. If your father passes away, your mother passed away, your sibling passed away, your child passed away, your neighbor relative passed away, and you practiced patience, aapne sabr kiya, you stayed in control, you didn't lose your senses, then there is good news for you. Wabashir is sabirin. And who are the sabirin? Kon? Who are the sabirin? الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ جب یہ ہو تو وہ کہے إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ یہ صبر ہے Once سیدہ عائشہ صدیقہ رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ said روایت ہے آپ سے کہ once the candle that was burning مومبتی جل رہی تھی Hujrae Sharifa me Buj gai The light went off To Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon We belong to Allah And to Allah shall we return The light was there Allah gave us that light Allah took it away Allah gave us life He takes it away Allah gave us family He takes it away تو سیدہ عائشہ رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ said کہ یا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ وسلم this is only a candle it's اتنے کے لیے آپ استرجاع فرما رہے you are reciting انہا لیلہ و انہا الہی راجعون just for the candle تو رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم said انہا مصیبہ 
یہ بھی ایک مصیبت ہے کہ دا لائٹ گوز آف اینڈ دا میسنج آف اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیڈ اینی ڈیفیکلٹی اینی ڈیفیکلٹی کوئی بھی مصیبت جو مومن کو پہنچے اور وہ انا اللہ و انا الہ راجی ان پڑھے تو اللہ اس کو اس سے بہتر بدلا عطا فرماتا ہے تو صبر کرے اللہ سبحان و تعالی ہم سب لوگوں کو صبر کی توفیق عطا فرمائے جو شخص صبر کے وقت ایٹ دا ٹائم اف بینگ ٹیسٹڈ اینڈ ایٹ دا ٹائم اف پریکٹسنگ پیشنس ہی ہو ریسائٹس انا لله و انا الیہ راجعون تو اللہ سبحان و تعالی سیز اولائک علیہم صلوات من ربہم سبحان اللہ و رحمہ اللہ ان پہ درود بھیجتا ہے پوری دنیا سرکار صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم پہ درود بھیجتی ہے اللہ بھی بھیجتا ہے تو اللہ فرماتا ہے کہ جو مصیبت کے وقت صبر کرے اللہ اس پہ درود بھیجتا ہے اور ایک نئی سلوات اور رحمت بھی بھیجتا ہے تو اللہ سینڈ سالیوٹیشن اپن دیٹ انڈیویجل ہو پریکٹس پیشنس اور کوئی بھی مصیبت ہو چاہے آپ راستے میں چل رہے ایک ٹھوکر لگی ان اللہ و ان بری خبر سنی فلا بیمار ہو گئے اب اس زمانے میں تو یہ ہے کہ آپ کو کسی نے خبر دی کہ فلا کو وائرس ہو چکا ہے اور آپ پڑھ دیے ان اللہ و ان اللہ راجعون تو وہ سمجھے گا کہ گالی دے رہا ہے ہے نا کہ اس کی موت کی دعا کر رہا ہے تو ایسا نہیں ہے بلکہ یہ ان اللہ و ان اللہ راجعون اس وقت پڑھنا یہ اس کے لیے دعائے شفا ہے دس از دعائے شفا فار دیٹ انڈیویجل کہ اللہ اس کو شفا دے دے اور بہتر سلا عطا فرمائے تو اللہ اس پہ درود بھیجتا ہے درود بھیجنا وہ ڈز ناٹ مین اللہ کا ہم پہ درود بھیجنے کا مطلب ہے اللہ مغفرت عطا فرماتا ہے گناہوں کی مغفرت فرما دیتا ہے اور رحمت نازل فرماتا ہے وہ اولا اک ہم المختدون اینڈ دوز آر دا پیپل ہو آر گائڈ بائی اللہ یہی لوگ سیدھی راہ پر ہیں جو لوگ صبر کرتے ہیں ہمارے سرکار صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم کا صبر سیرت پڑھنے والے جانتے ہیں کہ کتنا صبر تھا ہم مسلمان ہیں محبت کا دعویٰ کرتے ہیں عشق کا دعویٰ کرتے ہیں سرکار صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سے تو ہمارے لیے یہ فرض واجب ہے کہ ہم بھی صبر اپنے آپ میں لائے اللہ ہم سب کو صبر کی توفیق عطا فرمائے اور اللہ ہم سب لوگوں کو رسول اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا سچا عاشق بنائے جزاکم اللہ خیر السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ